Road, Igu Gap Road, there is a lot of areas in that are very damaged this morning. We're going to start with Grace Baptist Academy. It was hit hard by tornadoes and severe damage. Late last night, WDEF News 12 Now's Angela Morian joins us now live with more on what happened there. Good morning, Angela. Kay, good morning, Kay and Chip. As you can see, I'm here live downtown. We do have power here on South Broad Street. We haven't seen much damage in the downtown area. Pretty much all the localized damage has been in that East Brainerd neighborhood, which is just east of Gun Barrel Road. So all the way, if you can imagine a map from East Brainerd to Shallowford Road, and then from Gun Barrel to Jenkins Road and Standifer Gap Road, that's where we saw one of the strongest parts of the storm hit. It. One of the buildings and, and parts of the area that got hit the worst was Grace Baptist Academy. We'll show you those pictures here. You can see that every single building had substantial damage. I was just there uh, in the last hour or so, and they were crews were still there trying to turn off gas leaks and try to get the down power lines out of the way, but they weren't focused on that area in particular because if you're familiar with the area, there's a whole lot of residential houses and apartments and nursing homes in that area. So they were focused primarily on that and trying to get those people safe there. However, as you can see in the pictures, the damage is substantial. Like I said, the high school building, the second floor is completely ripped apart. No roof there anymore. You can see the ticket booth at the football and baseball stadium is pretty much in half. The main building in the front has substantial roof and siding damage. All of the alarms were going off when I was there. And then also what I thought was interesting was the uh, Grace Baptist Elementary School sign. If you're familiar with the area, it sits on the bank right in front of the buildings. It flew across the street and about half a mile down hitting a, another person's house. And that's where it lays. I have pictures of those on our Twitter page. So go on at Sideline Stormer is my Twitter. And we're still seeing Chip and Kay heavy winds of gusts, gusts of winds here on uh, downtown Chattanooga. So it's still been five hours since these storms have passed, but we're still trying to get uh, the damage. And, and you guys will have an update on what, the, what roads are still closed and what power is still out. So stick with News 12 as we bring you the latest. Thank you, 